What's going on guys? Today I feel like I really need to play with boats. Well, that ain't gonna do it. I want something a little bigger. I really like tugboats, so let's build one in Minecraft. All right, so we're gonna start by placing our hull, and I know it's not being built on the water, but it's just kind of tricky to build things on the water and show you the mechanics of how it's all put together. So we'll lay out our keel first. I'm just using red standard clay. Give it a little bit of a upward slope in the front so it can ply through the water. Now at the front of the boat, we're going to stagger things backwards. So you can see that I'm starting with a one block space, then going to a two and then do a three and so on and so forth. And this just gives it a gradual, kind of like a clean look to it when it's all finished, rather than a very uniform sharp knife look. Tugboats look a little, bl a little blunt. front of our bow shape right there. We'll continue on to the sides and I want it to kind of bow out a little bit in the middle just for sake of keeping reference. Towards the stern of the boat, we're actually going to taper it back quite drastically. It'll look a little bit more knife-like. There we go. Cool. Just keeping in mind that our bow is actually not the sharp pointy end. That's actually the stern that's going to be the sharp pointy end. Just kind of break that down. Now for the sides of the boat, we're just going to stagger it. Almost like an upside down stair-like pattern. And we're going to do that for all sections wherever it bows out or bows in. So like that. Now we're going to do that for every single part of the boat. If you guys want to see a more detailed explanation on how I do hulls, check out the steamship build. Uh, you'll see in a complete detailed, um, pretty much tutorial on how I do any sort of hull design. Pretty self-explanatory, just tedious. Right, now we're going to build it up a little bit. And the back of the tugboat is going to have what's known as a fantail. And it basically, you know, it's uh, just fans out. You'll see. And the goal is to make it as wide as the red part of the hull as well. Not too quickly. Again, staggering it so it has kind of a curved look to it. Fairly streamlined, especially in the back. And it looks like we need to go one more. Again, I don't want to make it too wide too fast. There we go. Nice. We're just going to repeat the same process on the other side, making sure that it lines up. And we'll bring it all the way to the front, but with the front of the boat, rather than it being a fan out, uh, it's just going to be a single block stagger. All right, starting to look like a hull. 
repeat the process on the other side. Okay. So now we have to fill in this area. And you can do it with gray, but I find that it actually works a little bit better if you stick to the color that they that you used on the bottom of the hull. So we're going to actually go through and use red here. And visually what or you know, just looking at it from a visual standpoint, it looks a whole lot better. We'll stagger the front out a little bit. There we go. it up one more level actually want to stagger this out one block too let's keep it from looking too blocky That's perfect. Look at that. Gorgeous. We're going to add a, another layer to the front. There we go. Cool. Go up another level. I think I want to use a different color. sandstone color has kind of like an off-white worn out sun bleached white look it also has a little bit of texture to it which is nice add some variety I'll make sure everything is lined up properly Also add the sandstone color to the rest of the boat just so we have some continuity. Hmm. Yeah, just like that. Cool. That pretty much tackles the hull. Don't really have to do too much more to it to make it look Correct. I think actually that's pretty good. So now we'll go ahead and add in the floor Or the deck I should call it. I'm just using stripped wood. I like the texture I'll Just fly through this real quick and There's going to be two levels to the top, you know the main front or main uh, first level deck areas like that and then on the bow on the very front of the boat we're gonna go up one block and that'll be accessible by a single line of stairs or a single single plank in this case we're gonna use a dark oak slab so it looks like a gradual elevation change okay cool Loki, that's fantastic. All right. Now we're ready to start adding in the superstructure for the entire thing. So the first level usually housed like a, uh, you know, some quarters or something of that nature. Oh, hmm. I'm using bone block here because I like the texturing on it. And I think I need to go a little bit wider with this. There we go. That's better. Yeah, that's perfect. And the bone block kind of has that almost aged look to it. Oh, 
Awesome. Add in some doors and we'll also add in some portholes as well to this first level structure. I like using the jungle trap doors because it kind of has a circular window look. Makes for a good looking porthole. Mmm, portholes! Keep with consistency. Make sure that's on the outside. You want to get that to line up with the windows or else it looks kind of funky. All right. I'm just going to add a, the next layer on this cake. We're going to get started on the uh, upper wheelhouse as well. Now on these old tugboats, you often see um, an elevated wheelhouse that was a pretty Pretty high. And this is a pretty big tugboat. Let's go to the door. That's better. All right. Add in some windows for our pilot house. I'm gonna use some, some more stripped wood here. So get it some difference. There we go. Add in some decking. And you want to make sure the decking is wide enough for it to be navigatable. Like you want to be able to walk around it in order to access the uh, important parts of your tugboat. Yarr. Sea tails. That'll be five cents. staircase going up to that 
second level deck. We're gonna finish off the roof here. Give it a little sun visor. No, it's too much white. I think we need to do maybe gray. This is always tricky, kind of making a, um, a railing system that's to scale that kind of works. You know, there's there's different mods out there that allow you to have better looking fences and stuff, but I don't really like using construction mods so much. I like the shaders, shaders are sick, but construction mod wise, I'm not a huge fan. Um, yeah, that looks, that looks stupid. That looks really dumb. So let's get rid of that. Let's just do this the old fashioned way. Obviously there's gaps in the fences whenever it's at a diagonal. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to add slabs, but I think what I'll actually end up doing is adding carpet um, because it has a smaller profile. It kind of makes it work. Fill in the rest of the deck. Cool, perfect. Now let's add some detail to the top of the pilot house. Now you can see I'm adding in navigation lights. And these are the red and green lights on the top of, you know, the roofs of these build of uh, these boats. And the best way to remember which side's red and which side's green is, you know, there's the two sides of the boat. There's port and then there's starboard. And port is always left because it has four letters. So port, if you're facing out on your boat, if you're like standing at the steering wheel, facing out, port is going to be left. Four letters in left, four letters in port. Now to remember the color, I always think about wine. Um, and a lot of people say, oh, port wine is red. Well, port wine, if you ever buy wine that's a port, it's red. Port wine is red, port is the left-hand side, starboard's the right. And there you go, it's an easy way to remember that. So if you ever go to uh, a Red Lobster or something, that's always a fun thing to call them out on. I've never been to a Red Lobster, but I've walked past one that had the navigation lights all switched up and screwy and just felt like I had to say something, but I didn't. That's not my place. All right, so now let's add on a spotlight. And I like using the sea lantern. Yars, old sea lantern. Nice. Use some trap doors. I'm gonna use the dark oak because it looks fresh. No, don't do that. Boop. 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 All right. Nice spotlight right on the top of the tugboat. That looks pretty good. All right, let's add in the floor to our pilot house. We don't want to make it too low because we want to be able to see out the front. A little steps. Quickly add some decoration to the interior. Really make it look like a boat. using these cartography tables because they look like navigation tables. Into that, we'll add a nice little chair for the captain to sit at. 
Same color wood for the sides. Add a jungle door. Get some consistency there. Nice. We need a porthole. Porthole. Now let's go in and do that. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. That's about right. Cool. Dig the look of that. Let's add ourselves a big old smoking chimney. Kind of gives the tugboat a, its iconic tugboat look. Detail. Some antenna. Kind of needs a little bit of a mast. Something to break up the lines a little bit. Give it some horizontal appeal. Ah, too big. All right. Get some lantern action in there. I also want to add one to the bow as well, just so we have a navigation light out at the front. And also it'll add a little flag post as well. Cool. That looks mad and nice. And we need a back deck for our, uh, for the top of the engine room, sort of. Sort of doohickey. I also want to add a lifeboat here, so we're going to add some cranes or some uh, swivel arms to hold our, our rescue dinghy. I'm also gonna add some other details on here. I like adding little vents everywhere for those uh, kind of L-shaped or upside down J-shaped vents you would see on ships. All right, let's add ourselves a nice little lifeboat here. Now in order to make it look like it's hanging, because if I were to just do that, it would look kind of funky. I want it to have a hanging look, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add fence posts to the bottom of these large hooks coming over the back of the boat. Yeah, dark oak fence. She'll do. like a nice little dinghy. Ain't that nice. Add some detail to the side of the of the structure. We don't want to go too far with it because I don't think there would be clearance to, well, kind of, kind of, sort of. No, there's not. So let's get rid of that. doesn't have any rhyme or reason why I put this here just to give it some visual visual difference visual appeal
Okay. Now I want to add a stern flag and spotlight. Another flag. And that looks pretty gosh darn good. Let's add some support in here just to give it some rhyme and reason. All right. Looks mighty nice. Now another feature that was common on these tugboats is that they would reuse old tires on the front to act as bumpers. So essentially when they would go up to a large ship, they wouldn't scratch the, the living daylights out of the out of the ship. They would just bump bumpers. Now I'm trying to make it look somewhat, right? Alright. That's the last bumper there. All right, guys, well, that about wraps up this video. That tugboat is ready to set sail. If you guys liked this video, drop a like. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm always making different stuff, whether it's boats, trains, houses, castles, you name it, we've got a lot coming down the pipe. Also, be sure to check out our Instagram page. We've got all sorts of stuff over there, and that's easy to find. It's just Empire Build Blocks. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know. Also drop a comment if you want to see something different built. You know, if you want to see more modern stuff, let me know. If you want to see, you know, all sorts of different things, I'm bound to do something that you might like. All right, guys, have a great one and thanks for watching.